Welcome back to the channel. I'm Melissa and this is Jessica. And today we're gonna share three apps that were so helpful during our weight loss journey. You probably have all of these apps and you're probably using them right now, but there's a missing piece to how you're using them. Let's go over the different apps and some of the common mistakes that we used to make that you might be making too. Number one is MyFitnessPal. The most common mistake that we see is eating back calories that are burned from exercise. So if you're doing this, you wanna stop doing that immediately. The second thing is following the suggested calories or macros that MyFitnessPal Pal sets for you. Now, when we first started using my fitness pal, we followed the same suggested calories from the app and they were way too low and it made it almost impossible to stick to. So chances are that the calories that's telling you to eat is also really low for you. And the last most common mistake is selecting the wrong entries in my fitness pal when you're actually logging your food. My fitness pal is a database that anyone can add entries to. That means that sometimes the information in some of the entries are actually wrong. So what you want to do is make sure that you're looking for any type of entry with the green check mark. And if you want to be extra sure that the information is correct, you can always check it against the USDA nutrition information. The second app that we used in our weight loss journey was Fitbit, but you might be using something like Fitbit or an Apple watch. You might be wondering what are mistakes that you can be making with a Fitbit or with a step tracker. The very first mistake was having it linked to my fitness pal. And when it's linked to my fitness pal, my fitness pal then adds the calories back that you burned from exercise. This is a big no, no. And we definitely don't want to be eating calories back burned from exercise. The second mistake that we made that you might be making is not setting a specific step goal and just leaving things to chance. So when we did this, it was really just kind of like shooting from the hip. Some days I literally got 2000 steps in the entire day. Other days I got 6,000, other days I got 8,000. I was really all over the place and there was nothing consistent about how much movement we were getting outside of the gym. On the opposite end of the spectrum to that, there were some days where it was like, oh crap, I only got 2,000 steps yesterday, so I'm gonna be really extreme today. And I would try to get 15,000 to 20,000 steps a day. And it was causing so much stress on my body and also my mental state to try to always hit that every single day. What worked best for us was understanding that we needed to set a challenging yet achievable step goal for ourselves. That way there was some consistency to how much we were moving our bodies, how many steps we were getting. And you also knew what you were working towards every day and you felt a sense of accomplishment every time you hit that step goal. Yeah, like the little trophy that would pop up and it'd be like 10,000 steps oh and give you a trophy and the fireworks would. My first one was from Amazon. I think it was like $30. Yeah. And I loved it. It was better than the Fitbit, better than Apple Watch, like whatever, probably gonna like <laughs> electrocute my wrist right now for just saying that. The one on Amazon, it did, it had a little trophy and it was like at the end, like when I hit my 10,000 steps, it would like celebrate. And I was like, oh my God, like we're celebrating. Yay, it was so happy. And the third and final app might surprise you, Spotify. Now you probably already have Spotify or Apple Music or some type of audiobook app and you might even be using it daily but I bet that there are ways that you can be better using it to your advantage if you're on a weight loss journey. Listen, like I love me some serial killer, like murder mystery type of dark ass podcast. Like I love those fiction books. I love all of that, even listening to regular music. But the thing is, is that none of that was actually serving me on my weight loss journey. The real tipping point for me, and I know for you as well, was when we started listening to more motivational podcasts or educational books or things like that that had to do with fitness and nutrition and even mindset surrounding fitness and nutrition. And the reason why this was so important is it because it allowed us to be fully immersed in what we were doing every single day. I know life can get super busy and there's a million different things that want to pull you off track, but when those types of thoughts and that type of mentality is constantly being fed to you, it's much easier for you to want to stay on track because now it's almost created this tribe-like mentality for you where all the things that you're listening to and all the information that you're consuming is helping to support your goals rather than pull you away from them. One of our favorite podcasts years ago during our weight loss journey where we had our huge transformation was the Grow or Die podcast by Justin Mahaley. Phenomenal podcast, a little bit intense. So if you don't like tough love, definitely don't listen to it or harsh truths, but it was something that we really needed to hear because I feel like so often, especially women on their weight loss journey, you're so coddled. It's so like, it's okay, just do this or just take this shake or like these protein shakes, these pills, like just do this. And it's like, no, like your whole life has been a cheat meal, grow up kind of thing. And so that was something that really helped us be like, Hell yeah, like, yeah, like we're, like we're on this team, this is our tribe kind of thing, and our perspective on everything that we were doing in our diet 
changed because it wasn't just focusing on how little calories you can eat, how much protein you have to eat, how many steps you have to get. It was like the whole picture all together and why we needed to make this change and why it was so important to take action immediately. And that was such a game changer. And honestly, it's one of the biggest drivers for why we started our own podcast, Fit and Unfiltered. If you haven't listened to it, you can go ahead and check it out. And it might be one of those things that changed your life the same way that Grow or Die changed ours and helped us to wake up and feel motivated every single day to keep hitting our targets. It's linked in the description below. So go ahead and check it out if you feel like you need more inspiration on your weight loss journey. These three apps are all great on their own, but now let's talk about the missing piece that helped us tie all all of these apps together. The main driver of our transformation to lose 30 pounds in six months was hiring a coach who took full control of our nutrition, provided custom exercises, custom workouts, a customized step goal based on our lifestyle, dialed in our nutrition, helped up-level our mindset, held us accountable every single week, and also gave us a team to belong to so we were no longer on a solo journey. That might sound silly to you, and we get it because at one point we thought that hiring a coach to help us lose weight was actually ridiculous. And it were like, we don't need to spend money to pay someone to tell us how to lose weight. We should know how to do this on our own. It's really simple. We just need to be really restrictive and log our calories in MyFitnessPal. We just need to use Fitbit to make sure that we're going on walks and burning a certain level of calories every day. And we just need to be really, really motivated and dedicated. It was that simple. It wasn't. We had tried doing all of these things for decades and we still weren't any closer to our end goal than when we started. If you're thinking that it's kind of silly to hire a coach to help you lose weight, but you're in the same position that we were almost a decade ago, I would challenge you. Because the reality is, if what you were doing was going to work, it probably would have worked by now. Damn! So my question back to you is how much longer do you want to keep trying? At some point, don't you want the peace of mind to know that you are doing all of the right things and all you have to do is show up and execute instead of hoping and guessing and praying and trying every day? That's the best part about actually having a coach is that you don't have to worry about anything anymore. You don't have to worry if you're eating the right number of calories. You don't have to worry if you're eating too many carbs or the right amount of protein. You don't have to worry if you're doing too little or too many steps or if the exercises that you're doing are right for you. You don't have to worry about seeing the scale not budge or hitting a plateau. And most importantly, you don't have to worry about losing weight and gaining it back because everything is built around you and your lifestyle and designed in a way to make sure that you get results and actually keep them. If that sounds like you and you are tired of trying and tired of guessing and tired of praying that something will work and you just want to get results, Click the first link below and apply for our one-on-one -on -one coaching program. We will literally handle everything for you and help you tie all these pieces together so that you finally have a program that allows you to stay more consistent with less effort. So apply below and we'll have a quick chat and make sure it's a good fit for both of us and get you started right away. Mm -hmm.